Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. Today we are watching episode two of Demon Slayer. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, last time we left off with Tanjiro and Nezuko going up a mountain or going to a mountain to meet some man to get training or lessons, right? An elderly gentleman that is wise, possibly. I love it. I can't <laughs> wait to see it. Um, any thoughts from last episode that stood out? No? Well, I really liked the one dude who came in. Giyu, I think his name is. Yeah. Um, is he going to go with them? I don't mountain, think so. Think? It seemed like they parted ways and it was just going to be Tanjiro and Nezuko going up the mountain. Oh. Yeah, but I Jack like... Jack and Jill went up the hill. <laughs> I, I like you though. He, he was pretty cool. Um, I hope we see him again soon. He seemed like, like a sweet character, but I think he's still on the hunt for the Whatever demon who... Whatever demon killed Tanjiro's whole family other than Thanks for Nezuko. reminding me. Um... <laughs> That was <laughs> horrific. That was a horrible scene. Horrible. Yeah. But other than that, you know, let's just get into it. Right? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> let's go. We get to watch the like intro, like Ooh. music too, right? Yes. Pardon me, sir. Would it be all right if I took that basket and some straw and bamboo? Thank you. I'll gladly pay you for it. No, you don't have to do that. I don't need it anyway. Please, I insist. No, it's fine. Let me pay you. <laughs> Just take it, you stubborn kid. <laughs> take this small offering for your trouble, please. <laughs> Go up for your help. <laughs> <laughs> He's in pain. Very <laughs> aggressive. But in a cute way. <laughs> She's gone. Uh-oh. Oh. oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> it's like whack-a-mole. I want... Oh, here we go. Oh, I love the just the red. Oh, that's awesome. That was nice. Our boy Tanjiro about to see some action, dude. <laughs> Is this the old man? It has to be the old man. Look at this animation, dude. I love the... Oh my <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I love the big black outlines. Yeah. Very graphic. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Do you see that thing on his back? Like, it, is that what he carries an Ezuko in or something? It's like a big crate or something. Did she dig a hole? Is my demon kid sister turning into a mole now? <laughs> and she doesn't look very happy about it either. Guess she, really she doesn't like sunlight, right? Oh, yeah. Hang on I forgot about that. <laughs> it's on the backpack. Yeah. Basket. She can understand him? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like a cat. <laughs> hey, uh, Nezuko, remember how you got really big the other day? I've got an idea. Do you think you could get smaller? Come on, Nezuko. Get smaller for me. <laughs> Total cat. <laughs> oh, she did get smaller. Nice job. Oh, she's the cutest. <laughs> and she can understand him. You're right. Oh, oh look. Pet <laughs> she's so cute. Please don't worry. I'll be careful. And thank you for the directions. A sweet lad. That's the scent of blood. Oh, this path. Not again. Is everyone okay? Oh. Oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. Is she salivating? At blood. Something's not quite right about this. 
Oh, shit. Oh. A hatchet. Not bad, kid. Just a little scratch, though. Should heal in no time. Oh, they heal fast. That fast. <laughs> How do you Dang. beat that? That, like, took three seconds. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, shit. <laughs> oh, my God, shit. his whole head. That's not going to heal. Jesus, she's so strong. I don't think it's... Oh. The animation, dude. Did it grow arms? Oh, that's just... Oh, God. Jesus. His hair. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Can he fully regenerate like a new body? I know that's like and there's two of them then. I don't know. We'll see here if he has a head or it's just a body. Get away from her. Oh. Oh no. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! So that killed him? Just do it! Knife isn't going to do the job. Okay. Old man. Yeah. Think for yourself. Or aren't you capable of solving your own problems? Rude. Stern. I'll have to crush it. Oh. I'll probably have to crush his skull completely, which means hitting him with this rock over and over. I bet he'll suffer. Isn't there any way for me to finish him off with one blow? <sighs> this kid's not going to cut it. This boy will never make it. Gyu. Yeah, so did they have some type of contact? Must have. That's Damn. what the sun does? Oh, Nezuko! <gasps> Where is she? Nezuko, Nezuko. Oh, she's gone. In the box? Did the old man take her? I'm gonna guess the old man took her. Aww. <laughs> So cute. She's precious. Where'd the old man go? Hang on. Where's the old guy? He's holding a burial for the people who got killed. Excuse me? Did he bury them that quick? My name or did is Konji Urokodaki. You're the one Giyu Tomioka sent my way, correct? <sighs> I am. I'm Tanjiro Kamado. Do you know why it took you so long to answer my simple question? Because your resolve is too weak. There are two things you must do if your sister eats a human. First, you kill her. Then slit your own belly and die. That's what traveling alongside a demon like your sister means. Jeez. But you must never allow this to happen, no matter the cost. Your sister taking the life of an innocent person is the one thing that can't happen, ever. 
I will test whether or not you are fit to become a member of the Demon Slayer Corps. Demon Slayer Corps. The training begins. I thought he was an old man. He's running that fast with Nezuko on his back. Nezuko. Fixing your kimono again? That settles it. We'll have to buy you a new one. No, no, it's fine, really. This kimono is my favorite. Besides, it's not important. I'd rather feed our brothers and sisters. We're just beginning the test. We'll be climbing a mountain. <laughs> well, he's gone. Where is he going? Like is he go is he going to a different place? Now, find your way back to my house at the foot of the mountain. <gasps> this time I won't wait until daybreak. This guy's a badass. Just disappearing in smoke. But he can smell. Ha. Not with my sense of smell. I've memorized Mr. Earl Kodaki's scent. What the Pit trap? Just... <laughs> Holy He's shit. playing dirty. Oh, <laughs> Crap. Not to mention, besides the traps, the air here is... The air is thin on this mountain. Damn. A lot thinner than on the mountain where I grew up. Control your breathing. Then sniff out all of those traps. Damn. The animation is so cool. <laughs> oh shit! This animate that's one shot. This is insane. Traps were set by a human, which means their scent sticks out to me. Oh. <laughs> but I guess. How does he get up? I know. Like he's so human. Because I'm still not athletic enough to dodge every single one of them. Damn. You made it. I made it. Dear Rokodaki, sir, forgive the intrusion. There's a boy headed your way in need of instruction. He wants to be a demon slayer. He was fearless enough to try to attack me unarmed. A demon killed his family. Except for his younger sister, who's been turned. The boy has a keen sense of smell, much like yourself. So maybe, just maybe, he'll be able to find a way the to break through. big nose in the mask. I'm asking for you to train this boy. If I'm not mistaken, this will all make sense one day. Take care of yourself. You so cool. Yours truly. You, Tomioka. You're now my new student, Tanjiro Kamado. Was that it? I, that went by so quick. That episode that so felt fast. like it was five minutes. Okay, so we just finished episode two of Demon Slayer. It was crazy. <laughs> um, the teacher, I think his name was or Orokodaki. I don't know. Orokodaki. Your Orokodaki. But he was awesome. He was a badass. He. He climbed that entire mountain, which took Tonjiro 
like the whole night to get down and he just vanished and was immediately back to the cabin that was so cool and he has an amazing sense of smell yeah just like tanjiro that that's awesome so we learned a, a bunch of stuff there's inte- like the demons are intelligent like enough to like have conversations and a back and forth so why can't nezuko, nezuko. talk do you think maybe it's like a demon hierarchy? Maybe. Like demon and then ter- humans that have been turned? Maybe. maybe. So like the demons can still have some like authority and control over the humans that are turned? Maybe. Yeah. That demon was full on expressive and... I he died, I guess. He was kind of funny like, at times. <laughs> It was brutal, though. His regeneration obviously sparked a lot of questions. Yeah. Um, so I guess his body couldn't regenerate. Yes, but his, but his head, head could. Because he was like, I feel like my body died. And I'm like, okay, so their head can live on maybe forever. Yeah. Unless it's crushed. Which is pretty cool. Very cool. Um. Very Deadpool, reminds me of. <laughs> uh what else uh i the animation was fantastic the art style it's graphic like you said during the show the black lines everything's really bright and i love it at some points like you definitely noticed like a 3d cgi like yeah. mix but it's I noticed not at- that when he was walking towards the old man when the mm-hmm. old man was like burying the people I really noticed it there in just kind of how he was walking. It's not bad though. No. I've seen it like done bad so many times. It's beautiful here. They really like embrace it in like a really nice way. I love it. Demon Slayer core. There is a Demon Slayer core. And apparently, what's the guy we met last episode? Gyu. Gyu wants Tanjiro to join the core. Yeah. So that's exciting. I want to see that did you see Gyu at the end there just on a snowy mountain so majestic gazing out into the beyond that He's a, i love him already i don't know it's like him or nezuko i don't know i i love them both i everybody we've met i i love uh ta- right in the beginning tanjiro that little exchange he had with that man uh trying to get the basket from him was awesome i feel like i would have done something similar it, Except not actually physically hurt the person. <laughs> Take it. Take it. Um, so I totally understood that for his character, not wanting to take something from, especially from a farmer, you know, someone who doesn't have tons of money. Because he came from a family that wasn't rich. Um, so I, I thought it really fit his character to force the money onto the farmer yeah. just for taking an old basket with holes that the farmer can't even use how often do people get attacked by demons i felt like in the first episode it was this crazy like lore yeah. you know but right away he stumbled I-, I they did it to me two episodes in a row that we just see this f- beautiful family get massacred in front of us and i how often does that happen how many demons are there the, this was not the same demon as the one who killed his family. Right. I'm wondering if the demons are getting more active. Because mm. if he's never heard... He lived on a mountain. And he had to walk all the way down the mountain to go into the village where he lived. And his family trusted him to do that with no weapon other than a hatchet, probably. So, obviously, they weren't worried about demons... But now he it was in another village or farmers on a different mountain. And they're all like, beware of the demons. People haven't been coming back from the forest kind of yeah. thing. So maybe it's like there's areas they're concentrated or maybe they're getting more active. I don't know. Do you think Nezuko will eat a human slash yeah. try blood? Oh, because okay. she was i was worried for a second try blood maybe i don't think she'd ever okay i i have faith in her i feel like the only time she'd ever kill a human is if someone she loved was being attacked by said human uh because i have faith in her 
and she's adorable. And she was, she had so much control. She was in front of like four dead, bloody bodies. Yeah. And she stood in one place. And it snapped her out of it to hear Tanjiro fighting. Yeah. Like, I don't think... I mean, she literally was presented what she's craving on a platter in front of her. And she preferred to help her brother than satisfy her hunger. Will she starve to death if she doesn't get food? Hmm. They might get weaker. Maybe. Because isn't that like a vampire thing? That if they don't have blood, they aren't as strong? So that could be a demon thing. I don't know. I'm so into it. I like (laughs) thinking about how that is training. Obviously, like Tanjiro coming down the mountain, he had to think, adapt, and overcome having this long haul of like running and like traveling behind Mr. Orokodaki, I will get it eventually, I promise. We will um, know by next episode there, what his name is. <laughs> there was like a, like it was harder to breathe on that mountaintop. Yeah. Think about how that will train his stamina up. Like, I'm so excited. I'm excited that we get to see him here and then hopefully become a demon slayer and like mm-hmm. badass. He already is, but. I. So you know how all the traps were set and he was like, I can smell the traps because a human set them. And then right after he says that, he gets whopped by that bamboo. bamboo. They what said was that th- about? They, he said that um, even though that he can tell that the traps are coming, he doesn't have the ability to dodge them all. Oh, okay. So that was just an example of not being able to dodge all of the traps. Yeah, I think so. Gosh. Like, I, they're just too much for him right now. So maybe we see him grow until he's able to dodge them super easily. I'm not sure. Can we talk about her kicks? Oh my gosh. She doesn't punch. She kicks. She kicked his head off. That was brutal. <laughs> that was amazing. It was, um, it was great. And her form when she kicked, she was just so cute. Everything about her is cute. She needs to be protected. Yeah. (laughs) At all costs. I mean, no, she doesn't need to be protected. She can protect herself, apparently. Like, (laughs) she is a badass. I'm I'm excited. I love everybody in the show so far. The brother-sister relationship. I really, I really love it. I think they're really endearing. I mean, even though Nezuko can't talk as far as this episode, I don't know if she'll be able to later, but... She's still so expressive and she makes little noises. Yeah. Like, mm, you know? So they're just so cute and you can just, I don't know, they're precious. I love them. I have three <laughs> things that need to happen in the show. Three things. We One. need to meet Giyu again. Yes. Very important. <laughs> we need Tanjiro to get stronger and we need Nezuko to get a new kimono that's really cute. At one point, because he was saying oh, that... Oh, yeah, because she, she always, always fixed, has to fix the old And she one. loved that kimono. I wonder if there's, like, a reason that she loves it. But, like, but Tanjiro wants her to get a new kimono, so I want her to get a new kimono. He would totally go buy her a bunch of cute stuff if he had lots mm-hmm. of money. <laughs> I oh, love it. Adorable. Okay. I love the intro. The intro. Beautiful. Okay, there was, like... An elemental aspect to it. For sure. He had some some water water. aspect. And then the water dragon illusion of like... It looked so good. I've heard that song before. I have heard that song everywhere so many times. I never knew it was Demon Slayer's opening song. I love it. It's a great song. It it will have changed my life. I will listen to it for the rest of my life. In the car, on his way home from work, mm-hmm. that song will be on. It's true. <laughs> uh, cool. I'm I'm excited to keep keep going, watch more episodes. What do we expect from episode three? More training. You know, uh, yeah. I want to see, I want to see him become stronger, Tanjiro. Uh, I would love to see Giyu again. It. I don't know if we will. Maybe we'll see a little like, side quest from him. Maybe later on. Yeah. Um. He might come back once Tandro is stronger. Yeah. 
I, I might want to learn more about Mr. Orokodaki. Uh, like just some backstory or something about that. I definitely want some nice training montage. I love anime training arcs. If they're yes. good, they're the best <laughs> things in the world. I feel like he has to have some emotional connection to wanting to protect a human that has turned into a demon. I feel like he has to either know someone who has been in a similar position to Tanjiro, or I get what you're he saying. himself was in that position and couldn't stop them from killing a human. He did make it a point to be like, you will not let her You eat will not let and, her. Or kill anybody. Yeah, any human. So I feel like he has to have some secrets, some backstory that really connects him to, the, other than the sense of smell, yeah. that connects them. And that's like surface level connection, but there has to be some story connection, I feel, between the two of them. I, uh, Giyu obviously has some authority or some like, he he's able to just send a letter through like a raven to this guy and just a suggestion and this guy's like all right l let's see what he's got you know he definitely has the respect yeah from for sure the old past man. student maybe past student could be or he's just really well known and respected within the demon slayer core yeah so episode three we excited. will be so excited to watch it we are so excited to watch it yeah awesome hopefully you join us for yeah. episode Three. If you haven't already, please subscribe <laughs> down below and come hang out with us when the next episode comes out. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.